Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to extend an Ubuntu disk size after resizing the virtual hard drive. In this case, we use VirtualBox. Outcomes are, for this video would be the ability to use Ubuntu Disk Utility to view disk partitions, start GParted from an Ubuntu desktop installed image or live CD, ability to move the swap partition, extend the size of Ubuntu virtual disk that has been resized in VirtualBox or actually any VM uh, manager and verify disk size extended by restarting Ubuntu and verifying the disk size. Requirements are an Ubuntu desktop that has had the virtual disk resized or enlarged and Ubuntu desktop live CD DVD a boot disk image with GParted. If you need to know how to make this, I've got a previous video called Download Ubuntu Desktop 12.04 LTS and Burn CD DVD Image, which will uh, help you create this if needed. Additional info would be the GNOME Partition Editor at SourceForge or a tutorial at www.dedoimedo.com and you might want to look at swap file facts if you're changing your uh, the amount of uh, memory that or RAM that you would use on your computer at helpubuntu.com. After resizing your vir Ubuntu virtual hard drive and VirtualBox, VirtualBox will see your expanded hard drive, but Ubuntu is unable to use it. Here we have, says the virtual size 11.72 gigabytes. But if we go to Ubuntu, use a dash, and do a search for disk utility. Start the disk utility. And let's move it. And 13 gigabyte hard drive. And here we see that it's got 8.1 gigabyte in the ext4 file system and free 4 gigabytes that is not being used in any file system. And of course this is your swap uh, files inside your uh, extended partition. In order to expand the file system partition and use a free space, we'll boot from a live CD and use the GParted disk partition program. This is necessary because the Ubuntu desktop primary partition that holds a file system needs to not be mounted to make changes to this partition. In order to modify disk partitions, it will be necessary to boot from an Ubuntu live CD or a boot CD containing a GParted partitioning program. To make sure the Ubuntu desktop with a resized partition boots from a live CD, make sure the following settings are made in VirtualBox. Select the virtual machine that has already been resized. Go to System. And here's a boot order. In this case, make sure that your CD or DVD-ROM boots before your hard disk. Now, because we don't have a floppy, I'm simply going to uncheck this and click OK. In Storage. Notice here it's got the VBox Guest Editions, but we're going to click right here and we're going to use Select Host Drive D. Now it's Host Drive D, so that's OK. So go ahead and put your live or boot CD or live or boot DVD inside your DVD holder. And let's go ahead and start this machine. Now it will start a lot slower than your normal machine than from the hard drive. So I'm just going to fast, uh, uh, you know, do some page flips as we go through this. Get the message, click OK. And we here we are booting off the Ubuntu Live CD. After this slow boot process, go and click on Try Ubuntu because we don't need to have it installed. It's already installed on this machine. 
We're just simply operating off the CD DVD drive. And again, it will be slow. Once the CD or live CD or has booted up, we simply go to Dash Home, click on it, and we're going to do a search for this GPARTED program, G-P-A-R-T-E-D, and GPARTED Partition Editor, open it up. What we're going to do is we're going to move the extended and the Linux swap partition and the extended partition over to this area and then we're going to expand the main uh, SDA1 to take in all that allocate, unallocated space. So in order to do that, first off we go to Linux swap partition and we're going to turn the swap off. And then we're going to go to extended and we're going to expand it to take up all this allocated, unallocated space. This is, a, this is how we're going to have to move it. We're going to have to go to partition, resize, move, and expand it all the way out here. Click on resize, move. Now, this is not happening now. These are the steps that we're taking, uh, and they will be taken out of... We're just making the what we're going to do, and at some point in the future, we're going to apply all the operations. So the next one we're going to do is Linux swap, partition, resize move, and we're going to move it all the way to the end. Notice it's the same size is in uh, 510 meg bytes. Click resize move, and of course you get your warning. Moving up might cause your operating system to fail to boot. I hope you've backed everything up because that's necessary before starting this. So we're going to click OK. Then we're going to go back to the extended partition, resize, move. And we're going to decrease that. Now we're at 511 is a new size in mebibytes. And... Uh, we can't get down to 510 at using GParted, which was what it was before, but that's okay. Click Resize Move, and again you get your warning, and we're going to click OK here. And the final thing we're going to do is click on this uh, SDA1, which is your file system partition. We'll go to Partition, Resize Move, and we're just going to expand it all the way to the end. Resize move. Once we've got all our steps in place, go to edit, apply all operations, and again you get a warning uh, about the potential loss of data. So if you've done everything right, you shouldn't lose any data. So we're going to click apply. And it trundles through and uh, goes ahead and does the operations in the order that you've put them down here. Now it's it's completed. Give you some warnings about different file, uh, what could happen to your data. Details. Basically grew the extended partition. You moved the swap partition. And the reason you had to do this in this order is because the swap partition is inside the extended partition. And then we grew uh, then we shrunk the extended partition, and then we actually grew the primary partition, which had all the files. Click Close. We're done here. Close this. And what we're going to do here is we need to just shut down this live CD and then reboot uh, from the uh, Ubuntu HD resize hard drive. And again, because of CD, it's going to take a while to shut down. 
please remove installation media and close the tray. And we take out the live CD. Hit enter. So once the machine is powered off, simply start it back up. In this case, it will, and you've got the CD or DVD removed. It should start from the hard drive. Once it's started, go to Dash Home and go to Disk Utility. Remember, you can type in DISK and it will pop up. We'll open it up and we're going to move it so that we we can see the entire screen and 13 gigabyte hard drive. And here we have the 12 gigabytes of uh, extended space, similar to what we had in the controller. And here we have 12 gigabytes of a uh, ext4 file system, which is similar to what we would have in your storage settings, uh, expanded storage settings in uh, the uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. And to verify that our swap file is, is setting, we would we could uh, open up a terminal, T R M I N A L. Terminal opens up and use a cat slash proc for procedure swaps and we got the dev SDA5 and if you also want to double check me you can also use the top command and you'll notice that we've got the swap actually being used as uh, the file system is worked on. So that's how to resize the hard drive in uh, Ubuntu VirtualBox using GParted uh, Partition Manager. Thank you.